Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm a Lucian Holmes resident, and I'm here to talk about community involvement. Everyone has a view about how services should be run, how your home should look like, and how it should be consulted. That's why you need you to get involved and help Lewisham Homes to shape their services. We have a menu of opportunities to suit you. Over the telephone, in person, online, at an event, or even in the comfort of your own home. You choose the topic that you're interested in and the consultation method that suits you, and then we invite you to get involved. Getting involved is about acquiring new skills and experiences that you can use in everyday life. We have a yearly training program which includes such courses as first aid and computer skills. We also do additional training if you sign up for an opportunity that requires it. Contact the community involvement team for our list of free training courses. You don't have to be out of pocket to get involved. We can pay for your expenses and we give vouchers as incentives. Another way you can get involved with the community is to take part in focus groups. Focus groups are groups of local people who sit down and discuss issues that matter to their community. I've been part of several of them and I've seen how they make a positive impact in my neighbourhood. Resident associations meet regularly to discuss the issues in the area where they live. We believe that with a collective voice, we will be heard and we won't be overlooked. Yeah, and it's not just serious meetings either, is it? Uh, we get together and hold fun days for our local communities. So why not start a tenants association of your own? We have meetings where we can put forward what we want on our estates, which we think is quite good. Belong to TRA for Deptford Wall, and we're getting a lot of things down. They've given us a voice, so use it. I have two young children, and I didn't think it would be easy to get involved. But the team helped me with childcare allowance and even sometimes provide a creche. They will also pay for transport costs. You don't have to be out of pocket to get involved. 13p a week from your rent goes towards the tenants fund, which covers costs to run a tenant rights association, community events and much more. Some of this funding also goes towards our open days, attendance of conferences and other activities to empower residents. Our resident compact has everything that you need to know to get involved. Call us or visit our website to find out more. Hello, I'm Calvin, working as a caretaker for Lewisham Homes at Turner's Hill. Lewisham Homes provide a caretaking service on some estates. In areas where this is provided, we are responsible for maintaining communal areas that do not form part of individual properties. A caretaking service may include cleaning shared areas, the inside of shared windows, bin chutes and chambers, sweet paths, estate rows and play areas. We will take reasonable care to keep the shared areas, including the entrance, halls, stairways, lifts, passageways, rubbish chutes and any other shared parts, including the electric lighting in reasonable condition and fit to be used by you and other people living in or visiting your home. Please remember that you are responsible for getting rid of all the rubbish and refuse securely, safely and hygienically. You must arrange for the disposal of any rubbish not usually collected by the council normal weekly refuge collection service. Please keep communal area clean and tidy and free from obstruction at all times. We may charge you reasonably for any cleaning or other work if this is necessary. For example, due to you, members of your household or visitors. Letting dogs foul the shared areas blocking rubbish chutes or dumping rubbish. You may not store any items in communal areas such as corridors and staircases and this may be dangerous and cause delays during an emergency evacuation. You, your household or visitors must keep to any parking conditions we issue. We hold regular estate inspections which you are welcome to attend. During these inspections, 
we inspect communal repairs and check the estate cleaning is being carried out to the expected standard. We promote these on the state notice boards and on our website. The officer signing you up today can give you more information about how you can get involved in these. If you want more details about caretaking services, please see your tenant's handbook. You can end your tenancy by giving us at least four weeks notice in writing. You must allow us into your home within the four week notice period to carry out an inspection. We will make an appointment with you to arrange this. Before you move out, you must pay all amounts due under the terms of the tenancy. Remove all your belongings and throw away any rubbish. You must leave the property in the state it was when you first moved in. So if you remove any fixtures and fittings during your time in the property, you need to replace them or leave your own fixtures and fittings in place. You must leave the property in a clean and reasonable condition and repair any damage other than fair wear and tear you, your household or visitors have caused. You must return all keys for the property to your local housing office on or before the last day of your tenancy. You should ask for a receipt for the keys. We may charge you all reasonable costs we have to pay as a result of you not keeping to this part of the agreement. Lewisham Homes really hope you enjoy being one of their tenants. Remember, we are here to make your stay as happy and as safe as possible. We all want to live on better, cleaner, safer streets, so join Lewisham Homes in achieving this for all of us. And don't forget to get involved. There's so much stuff going on, and we can't wait to work with you.